what do an elevator, the International Space Station and spinning water have in common? They are all some of the many wonders of effective gravity. When we accelerate, we feel a pressure on our body. This pressure is often referred to as the G-force. But what exactly is it? The G-force comes into play when we change our reference frame from an inertial that is a non-accelerating reference frame to a non-inertial that is an accelerating reference frame. This force doesn't actually exist but it is felt due to our own inertia and as inertia tries to resist acceleration the force is felt in the direction opposite to our acceleration. Let us see what happens when an elevator accelerates. The change in weight is proof that the acceleration of the elevator changed what the net force on you is. Thus, from your perspective, it could change what the gravitational force on you is. This was the idea behind Einstein's famous thought experiment in the 1900s, where he showed that standing on Earth in a uniform gravitational field and accelerating upwards at 9.8 meter per second squared through space would feel exactly the same. Despite what most people believe, the International Space Station orbits at only about this distance from the Earth and feels 90% of the gravity we feel at the surface. Yet everything in the ISS is weightless. That is because the ISS is falling towards the Earth. It is just moving sideways so quickly that instead of falling straight down, it follows a nearly circular path, completing an orbit around the planet. Here, the G-force is hidden in the form of centrifugal force, which is an imaginary force we feel when we are rotating. This principle will also be used to create artificial gravity in future spaceships. Now, let us look at the water. Spinning water feels the exact same centrifugal force that you do while spinning. We all know that the surface of water is always perpendicular to the net force that is applied on it. When the net force is downwards, the surface is horizontal. What happens when it is spinning? If you look at a portion of water, it has a gravitational force downwards and a centrifugal force outwards, which means the net force, which could also be called the g-effective in this case, is at an angle with the vertical. Hence, what's horizontal for the water is actually sloping for us. This is what causes the sloping downwards effect in whirlpools. To conclude, gravity, which we all believe to be absolute, can also be relative and depends on the acceleration of our reference frame. What other examples of effective gravity can you think of?